So Tara asked about how I prepare my course sessions or webinars. Basically, how do I do course content prep for a presentation? Um, especially when there are so many ideas, you know, we might originally do a, a brain dump, you know, writing down, oh, everything I could talk about in this session. What do we do with all that information to turn it into either a slideshow or a resource document, basically an outline of the presentation. And the way I think about it is I call it uh, using temporary constraints for me to, to calm my, my nerves and to create a structure around the presentation. So a temporary constraint is basically using questions such as, if there was only one thing that I could communicate to them in this session, what must it be? So that's for me a temporary constraint because it's, it's, it's a constraint and it's temporary because I could go on to ask the next, next question. Okay, well, what would one more thing be if I had to communicate a second thing? Okay, what would one more thing be if I, if I could only communicate a third thing? So that's using, okay, so that's in terms of ideas. Okay, communicate three ideas. I also like to ask myself the question, if there was one exercise I could do with them during the webinar, if it was a kind of a more interactive situation, then that would be a good question. If there was one exercise I could do with them, what must that one exercise be? And there may not be a time for a second exercise, but if there was a second time for a second exercise, what must that second exercise be? Okay. And then a third question that I ask is, if there was one homework assignment that I can give them, what must that one homework assignment be? And then this, again, if there was a second homework assignment, what must that one be? Um, another good question would be, if there was only well, similar to the first one, if there was one takeaway that they, imagine at the end of the webinar or session, uh, I asked them, what was your takeaway? Uh, what would I want some of them to chat, you know, to type in what that one takeaway was? Okay, if there was a second takeaway that I noticed people typing, what would I want that second one to be? So asking these questions then gives me a filtering of my humongous pile of ideas into, ooh, these are the most important three ideas. This is, these are the most important two exercises. This is the most important three homework assignments. And the homework assignments can further be, further be uh, asked. If, if I were to give them this homework assignment, right? If this was one homework assignment, okay, focus on one at a time. If I, if I gave them this homework assignment, what must they understand in order to do that homework assignment? And so therefore, that's what I must teach them in the session so that they can do the homework assignment adequately. So Tara, is that, is anything else you want to say about that? Yeah, that's great. I, th I, I mean, I think what I'm hearing is um, take what I have down by like 80%. <laughs> as, um, yeah, as always, that's the case because yeah. your, your whole collection of ideas probably deserve several webinars or several mm -hmm. course sessions. Right. Yeah. And they really only need just a few powerful tidbits at like a higher level. I yes. think, yes. you know, I'm sort of doing one of those, like, let me tell them everything I know about this. And then I'm right. just yes. confusing and overwhelming myself. Yeah. With the whole thing. And, 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 um, and I have, and, and this is a lesson I'm still learning is to prepare less material per mm. session, then okay. I think I, then I would naturally, then I would naturally, because I would naturally, yeah. for, for a one hour session, I naturally seem to prepare two to three hours of material. <laughs> and, uh, and, and it's like, I'm, all, I'm still challenging myself and I challenge all of us uh, to, to consider this. It's like, what if I ran out of material to teach and I just had extra time for Q&A or, or yeah. extra time for ex some kind of exercise, interactive experience? Wouldn't that yeah. be great? Like yeah. what if I ran out of material? What if I ran out of material? What if I only prepared 15 minutes and my cat totally agrees. What if I only prepared 15 minutes of material for an hour long webinar? That 15 minutes probably is gonna take me 40 minutes to really deliver, <laughs> you know, or half an hour to deliver. And then I still have 20, 30 minutes left for interaction Q and A and they probably would feel very spacious. And, and so if I only had, 15 minutes of material, what must those 15 minutes of material be? So here's another question, Tara, that's good for to ask is, 
what's something that would really wow them to learn? Or what's something that mm. they can't just easily learn somewhere else? Right? Because you might say, like if if I were if I were to to, to be teaching an overall marketing thing, right? Let's say I'm just gonna use that. What's one thing that they must know about marketing? Oh, that they must know that Facebook ads is important, or they must know that collaborations and outreach is important. Okay. But if they only walked away with that, it's like, yeah, it's not, yeah. George's webinar was, yeah, blah. I mean, I could have learned that anywhere else. But if I said marketing is authentic marketing is the process of, of, of building, is the process of building friendships at scale. If that was that one takeaway. They'd be like, the fuck? I couldn't have heard that anywhere else. That's really mm -hmm. unique. You know what I mean? Right. So, so that's the question right. I ask myself is what's like something that would wow them to take away? Like, okay, then I work backwards from there. So if they, if they had to understand that, then what, most, what else must they understand that, that would be kind of unique to, to learn uh, so that they get to that conclusion, you know? And then, oh, yeah. right? And then, yeah. uh, and then the last thing I do, very important, um, is, to, is to try to, well, you, we haven't even talked about ordering the ideas now. Now that we've gotten some ideas, what order would they go into? You know, so maybe the exercise would go somewhere in the middle. You know, obviously the homework uh, assignment would go towards the end. Um, and then timing out the session. You know, the last thing I do is like, okay, so maybe I should spend 10 minutes on this topic and five minutes on that one mm. and 15 minutes on that one. Oh my God, now I have 75 minutes for a 60 minute session, <laughs> which yeah. then makes me having to prune some things out. Yeah. And you gave, thank you for the, even that last part, because now I have a really clear idea about what that one thing is that they couldn't learn someplace else. So yeah. now I can kind yeah, of it's, filter it's not that, everything from that. It's not that they could never learn someplace else, but it's not, it's not mm. easy. It's easy. Not, yeah. It's yeah. It's not, not like, like they would hear it everywhere, you know? Right. Yeah, they, exactly. Yeah. They wouldn't hear it everywhere. All right. Um, thank you. Yeah. So thank much. you. Appreciate yeah. that. All right, so Katie Raver has this good idea in the chat there. Um, so Katie, what she does is she talks to the people around her about ideas and see what they respond to and resonate with, which this is why I use content, right? Content is essentially a continual focus group, right? Con content is continually market research. Uh, so, so, so you talk to people around you, see what they resonate with, and that's how you get to your temporary constraint as a starting point for a new class to teach or a new webinar. Um, it's often surprisingly different, Katie wrote, or something I think of as a mundane or obvious, um, yet they are really in love with that idea. Yes, because by definition, uh, you as a teacher, expert, you are, you've thought about this stuff more than the people you're teaching or thought about it more deeply or in a more advanced way. So things that have become obvious to you are still amazing to them sometimes. So yeah, it's nice to find that.